All right, Grant, I'll see you at the track. Okay, we'll see you, Nate. Okay, Nate's getting ready to get a butt whooping because we just finished harvest and we're actually going to get going to planting here. Like towards the end of this video, we're going to start planting. So for a farm tradition, if we have a profitable year, we go and put $1,000 of our total farm money and put it on a race at the track. So we're going to hop in the car and we're going to go race. Us three brothers are going to go race for the $1,000. And you guys are probably wondering how I got this Mustang. This is not mine. I got a good old buddy that uh, let me borrow this car. So I can't screw it up um, and he said if I win a thousand bucks I own 500 and there's the stadium this wasn't built by us this was actually built by the map creator in case you guys don't know we're on Tahitian County it's one of the best maps on PC made by DR Modern this is pretty cool because I think this is the first time we've had a real track that we haven't made in farm sim so far okay so we got Buck Johnny here we're waiting for Nate Johnny he's sitting in the car still but Buck give us a run through of your Mustang so, oh, I don't know what motor yours has in it, but mine's got a small block 302 with a four barrel carburetor. I got a four speed on the floor manual transmission, 373 rear gearing, and I don't have it as much of a, I don't have your hood scoop that you have, so basically the shaker hood. But uh, you also have the arrow, so you're going to have a little bit more of an advantage on that. I got 15 by 10s in the rear and 15 by 8s in the front with uh, Kreger, uh, Kreger wheels, basically. What does yours end up having in it? The 402, which is 402 straight stock. You don't four, need to see four, it. 402. Yeah, you don't need to see it. Trust me. What's don't 402? Look. Don't look. It's something special, baby. Okay, boys, as you guys know, an annual tradition. Johnny Bros had a profitable year. We made the most money ever. We had the best yields ever. We had the best corn price ever. We're giving a thousand dollar bonus to one of the three Johnny Bros who wins this race. It's going to be a five lap race around here. No cheating. Buck. As tradition says, Nate calls her. Three, two, one, go. Come on, boys. Come no. on. Oh, <laughs> put her in second. Third. Buck always wins this thing, not this year. Oh, Buck on the inside. Oh, he's in the wall. He's, he's, he's going around the third. Come on. Uh, Buck slide. No, Buck slide. Buck's out. Buck's out. Buck's out. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What happened, Mr. Mopar? I thought we were raising for pink slips. Oops. Okay, one more lap. One more lap. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what we got, man. Oh, Buck's taking the inside. Buck's taking the lead. He's swerving. He's swerving. Oh, oh. he took me out. Okay. Buck Johnny with the W, with the win. Here's your thousand bucks. You probably got to pay about five hundred to the government. Hey, hey, but go ahead and hand me that thousand. Go ahead and hand me that five hundred because you right the my car. for your it. rear quarter panel. That's your fault. That you can't drive. Okay, well, we got beat by Buck. He's probably one of the best drivers out there, honestly, in Teton County. He wins the race yearly, so there it's no competition. And there's a winner, Rental Man Buck showing up. We still have a good amount of money in our bank account, and we actually made two big equipment purchases that we gotta go down to the John Deere dealership for. And this is gonna help us scale because we picked up a couple more rented acres also. And there's Nate. We're waiting for him. And then we'll run down All to the John Deere dealer. Just to get his butt kicked by both of us. Buck, you got your seatbelt on at 90 mile an hour? Nothing worse than what we used to ride in going to church. Holy! <laughs> And he's dead. Okay, guys, so two of these tractors here we bought, and I'm sure you can guess what they are. We bought two John Deere 5020s, completely repowered. We bought them and went straight to Kinsey and upped them with horsepower. So these are pushing a lot of horsepower and perfectly enough to pull an anhydrous bar. Now, both of these are specced out the same. They have duals on the rear, which we need, and they're loaded with front weights and rear wheel weights, too. They do not have three points, though. We did not get that option on it, which is kind of rare, but we just figured we wouldn't need it now the boys are rolling down the road and this is the start of uh johnny oh, bros cuss no not the train we got a train but i was gonna say this is the start of johnny bros custom farming we're gonna do a lot of custom application should be perfect but we gotta stop at the co-op up there and get our anhydrous bars and hydrous tanks and hey you should just go <laughs> <laughs> and there the boys go buck and nate rolling you and those instagram pictures so here's the new co-op they just came in recently they're pretty new they got a lot of new buildings and bin sites and stuff it almost doesn't even look real for this day and age but it's a nice place it's a nice elevator so somewhere around this giant co-op is anhydrous bars and anhydrous tanks 
and this is what we're going to use. Now, the only thing is, those guys don't have a cap on their tractors. And if you know anything about anhydrous, it's dangerous. So they're going to have to wear like face masks and safety gear while they're applying it. Otherwise, they're going to get a whiff of anhydrous all the time. Okay, those boys are taking off. Got the tanks. And they're going to start applying to some of our home farms. I'll get her paid for. Well, it's springtime now. And Buck and Nate, or I should say Johnny Bros Farms, got paid for custom anhydrous. So Buck and Nate were doing a lot of custom anhydrous in November and December. But now it's time to do our own ground. And we still have the co-op anhydrous bars here. So they're going to get applying that. I have to feed the cows. But yeah, we basically just four months went by just like that, it felt like. So I just got to do chores quick. And then we'll be ready to go. I can help Buck and Nate get some anhydrous put on. Okay, we'll get the hay in here. Get them fed. One of these days we'll have to make a bigger gate here. Here. It's kind of tight getting the 4020 in here. Come on, move her out of the way. And we'll drop her off. There we go. Should be good. Perfect. Okay, well, those guys are getting started on Hydrus. I'm going to get out the 4020. We're going to get the planter out. Go through the planter quick because in about, I'd say, a week or two, we'll probably start planting some soybeans. Maybe some corn. We'll see, depending on the weather. We'll drop off the three point. There we go. Or I should say the bale handler. And we'll hook on to the planter. Perfect. We'll set the planter down and we'll start going through this. It looks like Nate's getting ready to go. Don't take out a tree. Don't take out. He took out a tree. Nate's rolling on hydrus and it's actually leaving a nice tillage pass too. Like look at that. It's knocking out all the weeds and stuff. That is working good. And if you look down here on my notepad, it's showing that it has 50% fertilized. So that's perfect. We'll put another fertilizer pass on some other time and nitrogen's going in the ground. We're good to go. And there's Buck rolling. 5020s are working good. It's working her like crazy. And we can't use Alice. Alice doesn't have enough horsepower to pull those things. Only the 5020s can. Okay, well, those guys are rolling. We got some hay back here. That I'd like to start feeding to the cattle. So we're going to get this hay rack moved, unhooked from the baler, and get that ready to go to feed because we're starting to run out of feed. Luckily, though, it's March. So we'll probably May ish, late May ish, we'll probably get a good cutting out of her. We get the baler moved, drop it off the baler, and hook up to the hay rack. For now, we'll just put the hay rack right there. I kind of want to get this hay rack out of the way because it's kind of sticking out in the way. Okay, I'm really curious. Can our Alice Chalmers, because I know some of you guys are going to ask, can the Alice D21 actually pull this in Hydra's Park? The co-op guy said it wouldn't be able to, that you need a 50-20, but I think this thing can. I'm going to see if Buck will switch her out quick. I just got to stop him. Once this guy gets going, it's hard to stop him. I don't think he'll run into us, but we'll see. There we go. What are you doing? <laughs> I like the mask, Buck. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you think the Alice can pull her? I'm very curious, because if we can, then we can run a third tractor on custom application. I don't necessarily know. I mean, we can try it out. I would think it might have enough guts to do it. I'll drop the hydraulics and pull the pin here. We'll, tr we'll check her out. Now, the reason Buck's wearing a mask and a bunch of safety gear is because in Hydrus is like super dangerous and you shouldn't run an open station cab tractor, but that's all we got. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure this is on. We'll drop her down. I think everything should be good to go. We got her primed. I don't know if we should start in second or third gear. It depends what we could. Uh, we'll start her in second. We'll see if we can pull her in second gear. Okay, here we go. She's pulling her. We'll shift up to third gear. Ah, oh, this thing can do it. Fourth gear. Okay. I didn't think this thing could pull it at 8 mile an hour, but it looks like it can. I don't think we can go any faster than this, though. We'll get her turned around. Make another pass. This is actually working pretty good, and I think we could pull it with Alice. So that means, basically, we could have four, three different tractors running on custom application if we get enough custom makers. Yeah, do you want to, when do you want to run these back though? Do you want to do that first or do you want to get the planters hooked up? Because I know Grant's got the one on the back of the 4020 prep, but we could get that Oliver hooked up to the back of the case if we wanted to. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. Am I wrong? Go ahead and get that hooked up before we take these back. Cause it's, Probably. I don't know why Grant didn't hook this up yesterday to that one. Come on. He might have forgot about it, to be honest. Kind of blends in with the shed wall. If you want to go around me, you can. 
I'm about to say, you telling me this fi that 5020 don't go, go slower than this? It's still got the old power shift transmission that's uh, maxes out at 18. Alright, I'll let them get their weight on just the product. There you go. Get that down out there. Get that out of there. Alright, what's going on, sir? Oh, nothing much. It's a beautiful day today. Yes, it is. Well, I guess I'm going to ask you how much we owe you for everything. Uh, for total, I think the calculations came out to about three thousand dollars. Say so you got the checkbook, don't you? I gotta run back. Oh, actually, you know what? You can come pick it up yourself. I say, what time do you get off? I think in an hour I get off. We're gonna be getting in the fields with uh, planting some corn if you want to join. Oh, really? I can be there about three o'clock then. No, no, bad buck, bad buck. <laughs> <Bad bug. laughs> For anybody wondering, the current character Brendan joining us here today is Happy Farms YouTube, which can be found in the description down below. Go give him a check out. I'm about to say, don't forget to go check out Grant Hilbert. YouTube channel's links in the description below as well. Are we just parking these tractors in this shed over here? I would presume so, because we don't really have any planters that are draw bars. Where are we getting our seed from? <laughs> I got an idea. Well, we're gonna take this zone right here and go pick up some seed. We don't need much of it. We just need enough to really build the planters and keep ourselves going until Grant gets back and back in action. I think he is doing his own stuff today. Pull it on in here. All right, you're good. All right, where do I pick up the seed from? Uh, there's a shed. If you go straight, there's a shed right there. Pull about right here. Hey, long time no see. Yeah, I feel like I was just here. Deja vu. Um, I know, right? How much is the seed going to run us today? Let's see, $500 per pallet. All right, we'll grab eight. All right, let me go up here and grab, so we owe you 2000 2000 yep. Plus 3000 so I'll write you a $5,000 check real fast in the truck. All right, here's your check. Go ahead and load them up here. All right, here. thank you. I no, 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 you can load them. You can load them. No, you you're loading them. Does it make you nervous to know a hundred thousand people are gonna see you mess up? I know, I know, I know. Yeah, some issues there, bud. <laughs> you about that, 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 that was a bit close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way. Is he gonna fall over? Is he gonna fall over? Come on, come on. He can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There you go, buddy. Come on, come on. You almost got it. Hang over a little bit. We almost got it. Come on, back it up, back it up. Oh, we're good. We got it. Hey, I wonder if this co-op knows they ain't got no water in their pond. Which one am I taking? Which one are you taking? I don't really have a preference. All right, why don't you bring yours closer and start throwing you some bags down so we can fill yours up quicker. That's kind of odd. I thought you'd lo unload the top bags. Yeah, I thought I would too. All right, let's get the, uh, the other one loaded up quick. Well, I guess we will fill them all. Just... Take one of the hoppers off and put it on the other one when you're done. All right, that's your tractor. You deal with that one. <laughs> These are all going to be corn, aren't they? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go plant that small field on the other side first, though. Let me get back here and check this out. All right. Yeah, we about, I think we're about one and a half. Let's see if we can push. Yeah, there we go. The population looks good, though. Hey, Buck, I'll go there and deal with Brandon if you stay on your rows. All right. I'll start working on the headlands then. All right, buddy. Well, looks like you brought stuff out here, Armal. Yep. Yes, sir. Where'd you get Swallow this planter sticks. from? I just picked it up from the dealership this spring, so I haven't used it yet. Okay. Well, let's get you some seed in it. Get, get, get. There we go. All right. What field do you want to start on? Uh, you tell me. You're the boss. I'll start on this big one over here if I was you. Because me and both going to knock that one out. I'm going to knock out that little one over there, and then I'll join you in the big one. I hope Grant didn't want these roads straight over here. Well, he's going to be the one that's on the combine, so that's not our problem. How far along are you guys over there? I am about a good halfway through. Let's get everybody lined up here. Let's see if we can knock this thing out. 
Y'all boys gonna go ahead and head over to the other side of the track. Y'all done for the day. I can head over to start on that, but I don't necessarily know what uh, which area you want me to start on. You want me to start on the north field or that south field? Uh, probably whichever one's closest to the road. Come on, slow po <laughs> Ow. 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 Yeah, right, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the middle of the field. Dude, I'll start working back and forth on this part then. Oh. Oh. No. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so very much for watching today's episode of 1960s RP. Links in the description for everybody here in the description down below. We'll see you next time.